Okay, we're checking out the only game where the best way to make friends with someone is to attempt to murder them. It's Find Love. Find Love is one of those games where you have to manipulate the environment in a certain way to eventually get the girl, but it seems like every time you try and do that, someone almost dies. This is just a tutorial board. What's the best way to get your stick girlfriend? Try and make her break her neck. I love that the game is like violent, so good. This dude's over here, he's like, are you in love? And she's like, no, I'm hyperventilating. Ah, yes. A man staring with heart eyes at a girl. So what, does like the doge eat her homework? Now normally you can move all kind. oh yeah, you can move all kinds of stuff around. Oh, the tree moves. Knowing these types of games is just gonna be like one of those Warner Brothers acne style anvils that fall out of the tree. This knocks her unconscious. Nothing's come out of the tree. I've been beating this tree for a while. Just a dancing tree. And you know, oh, the dog moves. I love that there's no limit to what the dog can do. So if you want to send him up to dog heaven, he absolutely can go there. All right, eat the girl's homework. Yep, right there. I think a thing to notice here is it looks like she's trying to escape. She's over here. She's like, police. The dog's like, did I do a good job? And the dude's like, well, at least we'll go to jail together. Ah, yes. Home alone on your one piece of furniture that you've managed to afford inside of your house. Crying softly to yourself. There's no, oh. <laughs> Knowing Amazon, this probably came in like six hours. See, it doesn't actually tell you the after story to this. She still remembers that one time when he like tried to kidnap her in the park. So she's not here for him. She's here to kill him. Oh God. <laughs> I love that one stick figure it has the calm horse and the other one has the violent horse. Imagine taking your girlfriend to like a, a riding stable as you're gonna go rent two horses for an hour or two to ride them. And the stable guy is like, all right, sir, here's your horse sunshine. Uh, Ma'am, you get murdered. Murder. I mean, maybe she's doing this on purpose. I can take this horse and be like, I'm not getting involved in this. I'm gonna go right off the app. Oh, okay, so I can move her from the horse. Concussion city. <laughs> she's gonna be filling out her resume and one of her special skills is going to be hitting the ground at high speeds. Got a bachelor's degree in it. I wanna be able to grab this demonic horse, but I can't. I'm assuming you put her, yeah, okay. So you put her on his horse and now everything's half so magical. What you don't know is Sunshine likes the taste of human flesh. He's actually just happy because now he has two things to eat. Will you go out with me? No. Then I'm gonna have this helicopter crash on top of you. Hold on. Will you be my girlfriend? Oh, it's not the helicopter, I can drag it down. Back at the park again. So what happens if you just take this girl's book? Does it? Oh, it's like a bad ending. She just beat you to death. There's got to be something in this tree. Yes, finally. A stick figure world is exactly the type of world where you develop some sort of X-Men power like telekinesis. And the only thing you use it for is stupid stuff like that. Ah, yes. Trying to check out the Starbucks. She's out of money, but I'm stacked. So what do you just like give her your money and... Oh, it acts like she steals the money. She goes to prison. <laughs> it's amazing. I can use my powers of telekinesis to ruin people's lives. So what do I do? Do I give the money to him then? Okay, there we are. You may have my contact information. Ooh. I'll never call you though. All right, we got a robber, a victim, and an ice cream cone. <laughs> Sounds like the start to a punchline. What do I do? Like stab him with the cone? Oh, I can I can grab all this. Yeah, stab him with the ice cream cone. <laughs> Literally stabs him with the ice cream cone. This girl's like, you're like a higher calorie John Wick. He uses pencils, you use ice cream cones. All right, she's taking selfies. She needs to be taking pictures with us though. This tree, like, they're, oh yeah. It's the same worms. I'm actually curious if I could take her cell phone and if she'll beat me. Give me the cell phone. Beat. <laughs> ah, finally we got the right cross. Watching the spit fly from his mouth is magical. There it is again. Why is she emanating butterflies? Is she like a dollar store version of poison ivy? Yes, I have I have mind control over totally harmless insects such as butterflies. I love that you can take a car and just through willpower alone grow it so that she loves you. We're at the sports game and a basketball going supersonic is about to hit this girl in the face. So is this like where I have to get in front of the, the, the ball? Can I grab the ball? Can I grab her? I can just leave. I can also get a closer seat to watch this. I've never seen anyone get murdered by a basketball before. Uh, now I got front row seats. Oh, you catch it. There's a girl, a guy, and a vine. I mean, how did she get over there? Would she just kind of do like the Tarzan thing? I mean, I guess I can do the Tarzan thing. Or I can fail and fall to my death. How did we mess this up? Oh, 
<laughs> you don't move the guy to the thing. You move the thing to the guy. Hold on. This did not get me the girl. All I did was kind of like swing over the one foot gap. And she's like, seriously? She's like, I didn't even need the vine. I just stepped over it. All right, everyone. You ready to see a magic trick? Everyone's like really intently watching too. This girl's eyes are bugging out of her head. And money. <laughs> It's again, this is not actually getting the girl. It's just getting my neck broken as they fight to the death over the diamond. I like how I'm not even crying. One of my eyes is actually just vomiting out a tear. I don't even know what part of my anatomy this girl's grabbing. Waving at the girl. She's playing on her cell phone. Tell me I can get this man run over by the... <laughs> Was that a pool of vomit on the ground? Oh, it's like a star or something. I thought he vomited out part of his stomach. I love how she's like, what was that? And all of a sudden it happens and she's like, it's death. Can I move the cars? Oh, can I move the light? Aha. I'm not even sure what's happening here. All I know is anytime a stick guy has hair, he's always evil. Every time. I don't even know if she's the victim. She could have stolen his wallet or something. So if I give him the stick, does he beat us all to death? If I give her the stick, but she doesn't use it, so I have to have the stick. Oh, it wasn't hair, it was a hat. Here we are at the shopping mall looking for new outfits. I love how there's, you know, pants, shirts, dresses, a teddy bear costume. So you can move these. You can wear these. Okay, I just got busted for stealing. How about if I, how about if I steal, uh, how about if I give it to her? Does she get busted for stealing? Oh, come on. All right, so if I put, can I put her in the teddy bear costume? Do I have to go inside the teddy bear costume? This doesn't get me anywhere. The only thing I'm doing is dying from dehydration because it's like 180 degrees inside of here since we're in Florida. Ah, yeah, you're wishing that vine was there, weren't you? You're were throwing shade at me when I jumped across and now you're like, oh no, I should let you fall. So if I catch her, tell me we both die. Ah, oh, come on. I was hoping I would stand right here and we would both just fall to our deaths. Oh wait, here, here, yeah. <laughs> It's not a win until I murder everyone involved in this scene. Oh, there's like a plank back here. Can I just beat this guy with this plank? All right, so you probably put it over here so she can land on it. There you go. My hero. I didn't actually do anything. The plank just kind of like got annoyed at its best friend, the tree, and walked over to the gap. This is the strangest scenario. So he's got a diamond ring and the girl's like, I'm gonna think about rejecting him while rejecting him. <laughs> I mean, I guess she followed through with her thought process. I don't really know. I like, I like grab the sun or anything. It'd be great if I could pull a shark out of the water. Take the ring, take the ring. Hold on, do I have to like make the ring bigger? Can I like slide on the diamond or something? No, maybe the ring will grow like a plant. How about if I give the ring to her mind? How about if I wear the ring? How about if I get rid of her thought processes? Nope, can't do that either. I'm actually running out of ideas. How about I throw the ring into the ocean? On the ground. How about if I drench it in my tears? <laughs> I was just clicking around and a key to a Ferrari fell out of <laughs> the ring box. Oh, she likes that, huh? The diamond ring isn't that cool. Got a fancy car, she's all over it. Ah, yes, ice skating at the ice rink. That is a great way to knock all of your teeth out. If I hold hands with her, then we can both die together. Over here at the beach with my cat. Oh, hold on. I'm just... It's all, it's usually the tree. That's why I had to try it. I think I have an idea. I think I have to like throw my cat <laughs> under the bus. I can only imagine this conversation. You're like, listen up. It's me or you and I have thumbs later. <laughs> <laughs> that cat's like, you betrayed me. I'll remember this forever. Ah, yes, at the beach, the old crab waiting to skin someone alive. This is actually very common down here in Florida. We have a lot of flesh eating crabs. I'm not kidding. Actually, a type of natural crab repellent <laughs> is coffee. I know you're like, like, who says that, Gray? It's me, okay? This crab is like, I'm so hungry for human flesh. Listen, if you think that's all coffee is good for, I went ahead and as a Florida man, I asked a Canadian man what he thought about coffee, specifically Florida man coffee. <laughs> I've been trying to track you down for the past two miles. Oh my God. Hey, do you like coffee? Probably not as much as I like coffee. If you really like coffee, you should probably try Florida man coffee company. Ethically sourced beans, locally roasted. Woo! But wait, there's more. Subscribe today, you get 25% off. Can't beat that. Get the Florida Man coffee, get it. Enjoy the Florida Man coffee once you buy it. 
Swear to God, it'll be really good. See you later. See, this crab's like, ah, I'm allergic to caffeine. This crab has to feast on someone's skin. Yeah, see, feast on the girl's skin. I knew it. Ah, yes, the best place to try and impress some girl, the sports field or court or what is this? It's supposed to be basketball, but it looks like she's at a movie theater and has like a picket fence. Random gray fact. First time I broke my nose was playing basketball. Bam! Oh, nope. Can't hit her. Can't hit him. Am I supposed to sink this? No one can do this. Well, I shouldn't say no one can do it. Just no one can do it when you're trying to impress someone else. You always miss. Coming home. Girlfriend skin. Is that supposed to be a fly? What is this, like an Australian fly? It's like the size of a bat. I was trying to figure out what I'm supposed to do. You can open the, you know, you can change the this. You never know, maybe like a bird was gonna come flying through the window and murder both these people. But I think what actually happens is you take the slipper and you arm the guy and then he, <laughs> I love how he doesn't even kill the fly. He just kind of gets close to it. And then he's like, where's this thing from? The, the Jurassic period? She's like, I'm my hero. He's like, I'm so afraid right now of this thing. Eats more protein than I do. Is a stick figure. Look at him. The, the fly probably weighs as much as he does. Look at this. See this? This guy got this girl some flowers and she's happy about it. And this girl's like, what did you get me? And the guy's like, uh a loving boyfriend. She's like, I can't take that to the bank. What else? Do you literally just steal the flower? There has to be something else, right? Can I like pick the flowers? I feel like all that's gonna happen is this dude's gonna drop kick this dude. Can I take his hair? I was really hoping I could take his hair. This is clearly a toupee. All right, I mean, I gotta know if I just steal the flowers. I like how my criminal action not only caused violence on this man, but it also spawned a pair of sunglasses. That's right. Whenever something cool happens, a pair of sunglasses like just materialize from nothing. It's like an angel getting its wings. This dude's probably like, I want you to know someone who wasn't me died for these flowers. And she's like, I love it. Girls drowning out at sea. What do you do? I mean, is this like a MacGyver thing? I can actually move all this. Right here, I'll throw her a bucket. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll throw her, I'll throw her the shovel. I love how I had an idea and all I ended up doing was littering. <laughs> Give me your board. <laughs> I can take this, right? Oh, I can. <laughs> Now he drowns and I get the girl. I like how he's not just drowning. He's like vomiting water. If you have a water allergy, I feel like you shouldn't have taken up surfing. This is a fantastic way to die as a stick figure. Your clothes get caught inside of the escalator. This'll suck this whole girl into the machinery. Like, I get afraid sometimes of horror stories of people being sucked into escalators and I don't even know how real it is. This, this sounds terrible. Just take the dress off. Oh. Oh, you <laughs> it actually does rip like the bottom of the dress off. She's wearing like a mini skirt now. How come I get kicked for this? Blame the escalator. I love how there's just a giant stop button on the escalator. It's like powering off a cell phone. Oh, it worked. Ah, uh, yes. Stick figure at the gym. This is like a recipe for a broken spine. All right, yeah, let's just keep adding weights. Here, can I give him all these? Yeah, take that one. There we are. How did he not die from this? You know what's great at bringing people together? Some girl trying to grab a duck out of the water while being on a boat. This is a terrible idea. The ducks around here are vicious. This duck's like, I swear to God, if you touch me, I'm gonna rip your little stick arms off. She doesn't look like, even like she loves the duck. She looks like she's hungry. She's like, oh, I bet you taste delicious. And this guy's like, oh man, I love a girl that can just eat a raw living duck. That's a Florida girl for ya. What do, do I grab the duck? Like, do I just put the duck in my boat? <laughs> this duck is like, please stop moving me around the screen. I'm not involved in this. And break her boat? <laughs> I love how the duck had nothing to do with this entire situation. It was just like the red herring. Wow. <laughs> so I guess I get my choice of nurses here. We got like Victoria's Secret down here or Max Payne. <laughs> He's like, I've killed seven people today. Don't become the eighth. All right, so if I, I was actually hoping I could stab myself with this. So, oh. Ah! How come I can't use her? All that happened was I got sedated into loving her. Well, I went to go find love, and the only thing I found was that love is extremely painful. Hey, folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of Find Love. Until next time, stay foxy, much love.